In this video, we'll look at SketchUp Pro 2021, applying basic materials to an existing architectural model. In this file, I have a simple room that was used for a previous video tutorial on tags and components. If I look at my tags, I have a wall tag, a floor tag, and a ceiling tag. And I also have a component for my ceiling, for my floor, and for my wall. So this is my ceiling component, my wall, and my floor component. Let's isolate just our floor by turning off our ceiling and our wall, and I'm going to delete my unnamed tag. And I'm going to edit this component and add a material to it. And I could either right-click to edit component, or I could double-click. Either one of those will show me a dotted bounding box around my object or my component, and now I can get back in to select specific details. In this case, I'm going to select the top face, oops, double click, select the top face that uh, fits and sits into the room, and this is where I'm going to add my material. In my default tray, I make sure I have my material tray available, that's here under default trays material, and if I were to look at my materials, I could look for materials that are in my model, which are colors used for one of my components. I could look at a library of materials. Um, I'm going to look in the library, and for this floor, let's add in a wood materials. I'm going to look in my wood library and perhaps wood floor. When I select that floor, my icon becomes a paint bucket, and if I were to click on any face or any selection, I have now applied that material to that selection. Not to the rest of the object, but just to that selection on top, right? And if I were to look now at my material tray and look in model, I see that in addition to these solid colors, I have my wood floor. I can edit my wood floor in the second tab here, and it tells me that I'm using a texture file. I could swap in my own texture if I wanted to. It tells me there's a certain opacity to this material and a certain size. Size relates to scale of my wood floor. If I set this number larger, say 15 by 15, my wood floor is incredibly large and feels you know, out of scale, let's say. If I were to set this a little bit lower, let's say 8 feet, it gets smaller. And notice that these um, two, two dimensions are locked together. If I were to unlock them by clicking on this icon, I could change one separately from the other. I could go four feet smaller in compressed sideways and eight feet in length, which would give me an elongated board, which I could accentuate if I went to two feet. Or I could go the other way, I suppose, and say four feet, make my boards shorter in length and wider. I'm going to go ahead and set these back to each other though and lock them in place and return that to five feet. Um, so that is exploring the editing of that basic material for my floor. Let me go back to my tags and look at my walls. And I'm going to edit my wall component by double clicking. And in my selection, I'm going to go from in model materials to all of my materials. In fact, maybe I'll just shortcut to my colors. And I'm going to make these walls a very subtle, let's say this color here. In addition to selecting a surface and then applying this material through the paint bucket, I can simply click my paint bucket on a surface and that will also apply it. So in this case, all four faces of my inside walls have been assigned that color right there. And if I click outside of my component, it's no longer editable. I'm looking at the entirety of the component. And let's turn on our ceiling. And maybe for my ceiling, let me double click to edit it and set a material something a little crazy. We'll set this to be the material there on that one face. 
if I now turn back on my tags, I have different materials on different faces of my object. The floor is using textures, which I saw I can change in the editable attributes for a material. And that's the very basics of applying materials to a model in SketchUp Pro 2021.